Jay drone here. What is going on, guys? That's six from Wingsland. That battery sticking out of the back of it has never been pushed in this. This will be the first time it's pushed in. This battery was sent to me by Wingsland, uh, United States from California. I let them know the issues that I was having with it, and uh, they sent me a battery. I was expecting two, only got one, but uh, I guess I can't complain. So we are going to put this battery in. We have clicked it in. We're going to pop out our uh, arms here, and we're going to turn the drone on. I'm not going to try to connect this to the controller yet. I will try to do so, but uh, right now I want to see that this battery gets over six minute flight. Otherwise, uh, we're going to chalk this drone up as a loss, and I might end up selling it. So we're going to go into uh, my cell phone here. We're going to go into settings. We are going to go into Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi. And I'm waiting for the Wingsland to show up. Sometimes it takes a minute or two. Gonna turn off the Wi-Fi. We're gonna turn on the Wi-Fi. That actually might be it. Um, so let's get out of here. Let's go into the Wingsland S6 app. Yes. Let's click Go Fly. Shows that I'm not connected to it. Uh, joy, joy, joy of this Wingsland drone. No, that wasn't it. I don't know what I connected to. Sorry, guys. I was not connected to the Wingsland app. I was connected to something else. Maybe somebody else has a drone out here. I do know the FBI has been flying drones around here. Um, they're actually searching for somebody. Let's see here. So we are going to go back into the app. Yes, go. Right now we are seeing white. As we lift it up, we can see a little bit. And we are still getting linear break up down at the bottom, which I'm not thrilled with. But let's go ahead and give this a fly. Let's, uh, let's click take off. That's a high takeoff there. I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to go forward. And this is going to be a baby flight. It really is, uh, just because we are dealing with a lot of wind, so I'm not going to take this out hardly anywhere. We'll go to the side yard, and I do. I have, I have linear breakup on uh, the bottom. You can see the trees moving on the bottom of my image occasionally. And already we've dropped from 100 to 90 percent uh, within seconds. But we're going to go ahead and. Just give this a little yaw around, and as it's yawing, it's actually moving. It's not yawing in one space, which you would kind of hope it would, because uh, this is said to be a GPS drone. We're locked on to 13 satellites. This thing's kind of holding, and now kind of raising altitude. And again, we have that linear breakup in the image on the bottom. My M5, my M5 battery, if I use that about 10 times, I maintain the battery. Uh, my M5 battery, I think, is toast, uh, despite the fact of it actually showing that um, it's full voltage. The drone's picking it up as low voltage, so I've, I have something coming in for that. And if what works for me for that, you might be able to get M5 batteries for $20. Uh, but I'm not going to leak that too much right now until I know it works. Uh, we are still sitting at 80%, uh, and occasionally I'm getting that linear breakup down at the bottom. Uh, we'll go ahead and go up here. Try not to do too, too much of a baby flight where I'm actually working the motors just a little because I don't want this a hover test. Uh, I don't like hover tests. Hover tests are inaccurate. Um, and we are still at 80%, which is good. Go ahead and bring it this way. Stop, put the brakes on, let's uh, bring it down a little bit. And I am controlling this by app, no controller. Give you a look at this drone. Really cool looking drone. It doesn't want to maintain altitude <laughs> when I drop it. Um, and it's kind of drifting that way, which as you can see, I'm not doing it. 
The image quality itself looks really good besides a little bit of linear breakup down on the bottom. Like you get it, it kind of gets like pixelated and whatnot. Uh, it could just be because of uh, I'm close to residential neighborhoods, but you would think, I don't think I've actually encountered that with other drones. We're just gonna fly it out here, nothing crazy, because I really don't trust the drone. We are at 70% right now, guys. And we are dealing with wind. We got wind pushing against it. And for me, this isn't enjoyable. Flying this via this is not enjoyable. Um, the only reason that I'm doing it, and I haven't tried, I, again, I talked to Wingsland. They told me a way that they think the controller should be able to be connected. Somebody just released a video showing, turn the drone on, turn the controller on, and it'll work. That's not the case for us guys that have the controller bound to the M5. It's not going to do this with do that with this. You actually have to do something else to get it to bind to this drone to recognize it. The X1 it binds to immediately. Um, I mean, it, it, it's doing pretty good for this wind. Uh, you can see stuff moving around. It's doing pretty good for the wind. The GPS is not holding super strong. Look at the wind. The thing's actually sitting pretty nice in this wind. It's just not super accurate with uh, where it sits. Right now we're down to 60%, 60% battery. And again, guys, that's all this was, was the time flight on that brand new battery from Wingsland that they sent to me. Um, they, the guy was really nice, he was. All he wanted was uh, proof that I purchased this online and when I did, and then he didn't ask me any questions whatsoever. I emailed it to him on the phone. He verified what I had was good and said don't worry about it we'll send you out another battery again my purchase came with two batteries i was expecting two batteries but one's better than none and uh at the end time here if we get a decent flight time then i get a good battery the other two batteries maybe i can condition them maybe i can condition them to where i can use them otherwise they're just going to be scrap batteries and myself this thing has to go on that controller because as i said this is not fun for me <laughs> It is not fun for me flying this on uh, on my cell phone. Am I able to do it? Yeah. Um, is it rather boring? Yeah. <laughs> right now we are at 50%. So guys, if uh, if this pans out to be good where I'm getting a decent flight time, which it kind of feels like I am, I'm down to 40%. Uh, we'll see. Maybe this battery is going to drop really quick towards the end here. Um, battery fix might be contacting Wingsland. Contact them directly. They have a number. I don't know the number off the top of my head, but I did look it up. I'm getting a battery low land as quickly as possible. So that did go pretty quickly um, from 50% down to 30%, which is what we're sitting at here. I'm just going to kind of hover with it here and it wants to increase altitude constantly. Don't quite like that. Now it's sitting pretty nicely and it's increasing altitude again. Um, we're sitting at 30%. I will drop this at 20% right there. As you can see, I'm not touching the sticks and this thing will slowly increase altitude as it's doing right now. I'm not on the controller. It's bouncing all over the place. And again, we're dealing with a decent amount of wind, but for a GPS drone, it should be able to lock onto those satellites and not deal with that. And again, I have, you probably won't be able to see it, I have linear breakup on the bottom part of my screen. We're down to 20%. We are going to click land. Um, yes, land. We're going to get it over here. Allow it to land. And let's see what type of flight time we got, guys. We, uh... We're at nine minutes, so maybe we saw a seven minute flight time. Maybe we saw just about a seven minute flight time. So there's your battery fix, guys. Um, call Wingsland. If you got bad batteries, it's probably because the person who purchased these to resell them, they sat on the shelves, they decreased price like they did with this one. This one I got right over $100, and the batteries were bad. And Wingsland probably knows that, so they didn't argue with me at all getting me out new batteries. Guys, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Later.